Christ. We're on. Let's see who comes on, shall we? <whistles> Give us a wave when you come in so I can see who's here. Monday night. <laughs> hey, how are you? Oh, okay. Well done earlier. Well done on Saturday as well. That was a decent, decent little session. Um, how's your weekend been, everyone? I tried to refrain from flying down the staircase this, this weekend. Last weekend, go come on. Uh, so that was good. Didn't manage to do that this time. <coughs> hey, Emma. Mm -mm -mm. I did have some questions uh, built up over the week. Um, by all means, if you have any like fitness Q&A or whatever, things you want to hit with me with, um, Put them in the comments. Um, so, hi everyone. Hi everyone, if you're just joining in. <laughs> oh my god, I need a screen protector for this iPad. Dust. Went to boot camp, well done. And cuddled doggo, cool. Who's got some, uh, who's got some, hi Ruth. Who's got some questions for me? One of them I had was uh, someone asked, what's the difference between a bumper plate and a normal weight plate? So if you don't know what those are, I mean, you can Google them, but um, a bumper plate is one of those big, massive round ones you see people normally doing like Olympic lifts with or deadlifts. Um, and there are certain, there are certain height off of the floor so basically the hole is a certain height it makes the bar a certain certain height off of the floor um just you know like overextending or every time you go to pick that bar up it's at the same height if that makes sense if you think of like a competition point of view to keep all those variables the same it's always the same if that makes sense same with kettlebells competition kettlebells are all exactly the same size just different, they're just way different and they're different colours for that reason. Uh, then I went to the pub. Fasting, good or bad? Um, good or bad for what? What is the context? It depends. Depends. It's not, it's not that it's a good and a bad thing. It's um, what would you fast for? Um, for anyone that doesn't know what Lydia means by fasting... Um, that's, I'm assuming, did you mean like skipping breakfast or skipping a meal or a certain, you know, not eating for a certain amount of time in the day or night? Um, a lot of people do it to try and lose fat and all this sort of stuff. There's lots of different approaches. Um, losing weight. Yeah, so um, fast, it's a personal preference thing, really. Um, some people don't like eating breakfast, so technically they're fasting or intermittent fasting. It's just basically, it's just that, um, imagine, excuse me, if you imagine um, okay, so you wake up in the day, 
wake up in the morning, 8 a.m., you could have breakfast. And then all those hours, 12 at midday, and then you might have your last meal at 8 p.m. So that's what we call a feeding window. 8 a.m. to 8 p.m., that's 12 hours that you're going to be putting food in your body. That makes sense. Um, what fasting is, as a, as a good example, is you imagine instead of it being 8 till 8, you do 11 till 8. That's then a shorter window to fit those, those calories in. So you've got less time to eat food, which chances are you're not going to fit as much in. Some people eat can, some people do. They're able to cram loads of food in a short space of time. Um, some people will skip dinner. They'll have like a big lunch and they'll skip dinner and then they'll be starving by the time that breakfast comes around the next day. Um, it, there's, lots of, I'll say there's lots of different ways of doing it, lots of different approaches. It does have its benefits. It does have its negatives. Um, for instance, if someone told me, okay, Alex, you've got three main meals in a day, breakfast, lunch and dinner, depending on where you are in England, they might call it different things, tea, supper, all that sort of stuff. Um, I'm going to go to bed, make some hot milk. Okay, yeah. Um, so, yeah, so if someone said to me, Alex, okay, of the breakfast, lunch and dinner, you have to cut out one meal a day because we're trying to cut your calorie intake down. So I could have a day where I take breakfast out of it I could take lunch or I could take dinner. Now, if I was going to cancel one of those three, it would probably be, probably be breakfast because chances are for lunch, I may have a hot meal. Um, I tend to if I can. Um, but dinner's, chances are dinner's going to be a warm meal. I'm not going to, I'm not going to trade that for anything. Um, so yeah, breakfast, probably like a cold cereal or whatever you have for breakfast. Chances are I could do without that. Um, and for years, to be honest, if, if I'm honest, for years I used to skip breakfast, like at school and um, not necessarily skip it, not intentionally, just, uh, I, I don't know, sometimes, say, imagine, imagine you woke up late and you're like, oh, I'm going to be late for work. You're not probably not thinking about your stomach at that point. You're thinking about the bollocking you're going to get from your boss. Um, again, it can be a preparation thing. If you wake up early enough and you're ready and everything's in place, then chances are you're not rushing about for those sorts of things. But yeah, I mean, I used to skip breakfast quite a lot, but then I'd find um, I'd be starving by about 11. Um, and I mean, I don't mind saying this. It, you asked um, when I used to be a, a car mechanic, especially as an apprentice, um, I wasn't as alert in the mornings. And that makes sense that I didn't have enough energy in me. So, and there was a one point where I used to leave things to the last minute. Um, I was very young there though. So, um, and I just blast my way to school or work or whatever and then I say by 10 11 I'll be starving so you know some people will some people just they'll supplement things as well um I know people that would have uh it's not the best way to do it they'll have like cigarettes instead of meals and things like that so um or coffee, a lot of people drink a lot of coffee, um, it tends to suppress their appetite. Um, it depends on the person though, that's not for everyone. Coffee, for instance, coffee makes me hungrier. So, everyone's a bit different really. Uh, I've never been able to eat breakfast. Again, it's a, it's a preference thing, if I'm honest. Um, I love eating, so normally, People that don't like eating or avoid certain things intentionally, 
because there's a bigger picture and there's a bigger elephant in the room or chances are they might not want to eat more food or lots of food is because they probably don't feel great about how they look or their, their body composition. Do you know what I mean? So there's always normally an underlying fact. Oh, I can't come out for pizza, guys. Sorry. Um, I've got to walk the dog. No, it's because you feel like you're huge and you don't want to eat in front of people anyway. You're probably self-conscious. and Do you know what I mean? There's, there's always something, there's always something eating away at those sorts of things, I think. Um, but it's skipping, etc. Creating habits that are not so great. So, again, a habit is formed by re re repetitively, repeti repetitively doing the same thing um, until you get used to it. So, it's not that it's a negative thing. It can be a bad thing. I, I wouldn't like to fast. I've done it before where I've not been able to eat and I've gone long periods without having to eat. Um... I did a 24 hour fast once, just to see if I could. It was horrendous, absolutely horrendous. Yes, there are lots of people that are, oh, it cleanses the body, the mind, all this sort of stuff, which that's cool. Um, I was just so ratty and miserable. Um, and if any of you have seen me on a low, uh, on a low stomach or, you know, <laughs> Probably not the nicest of guys. Um, but yeah, again, it, there's lots of pros and cons to these sorts of things. So when fasting, are you going to be more ratty? Are you going to be more irritable? Are you going to, is that going to make you want to binge later on in the day? So chances are you might be shooting yourself in the foot there by restricting those meals or calories or whatever um, in the morning thinking you're doing yourself a favour but then come 5pm onwards or whatever you're smashing the calories down you um, I'm going to try and stop using the term calories so much because we don't eat calories we eat food um, just as a, a normal thing but because you, you guys will probably relate more to it then. But, um, yeah, you know, is it going to cause you to binge because you're restricted yourself? If I said to you, okay, if your favourite... I've said, again, I've said this analogy loads of times. If, I, if your favourite food is pepperoni pizza and I told you, okay, you can't eat pepperoni pizza for a year, you'd either swear at me go and do it anyway in secret or you'd crave it more anyway because it's a restriction oh no you can't do that don't press the big red button you can't do it it's all you can think about um and that makes it worse so is starving yourself essentially starving yourself say a part of the day is that going to make you want to binge later um there's lots of things that come into it with water retention and things like that um if you're not eating enough you know who give us a hit hit a hit a like button if if you've ever had a a day where you've you've missed meals and you've you've been so different in your persona that you've been really ratty or angry or snappy at people you might not even notice it to be fair um Alex Hangry, yeah, exactly. Um, I was just always so busy in the mornings, right? They're probably more habit. Yeah, and again, um, obviously it's more difficult with things like kids and stuff like that when, you know, you've got lots of things to do, all these tasks to do, if you like, in the morning. You, you know, you're, you're worrying about getting your... You've got two kids, you're worrying about getting them off to, you know, different schools or, you know, getting them changed, you know, fed, all that sort of stuff. And you're normally last on the priority list, especially if you're a parent. Um, again, that's another barrier. That's, like I said, there's lots of barriers for these sorts of things. Um, I think people have enough barriers, especially when it comes to things like exercise. Like today, 
if I said to you, oh, okay, you're going to have an outdoor session in the minus two degrees or whatever it was, that's a barrier for you because you don't want to be cold. It might be wet, might be slippy, dark. Do you know what I mean? That There's four things that are negative in your head before you even got out the door. You know, you might have got stuck in, stuck in traffic. That's another barrier. Has anyone ever been stuck in traffic before and they were late for like a class at a gym or some sort of appointment? Um, again, things like that. All these things start hammering at us. Um, I don't know, I guess I'm more forgetful. Again, if you're if you are busy throughout the day, um, and you are you know you're not getting food in because you're you know super busy and stuff, there are ways to come around that um, to overcome that. Sorry, setting yourself little alarms and things. Um, I know it's easier said than done, um, especially if you've not got access to food readily available with the job you do. Um, so I know you're on a like wards and stuff like that where you're not you can't just nip and go and get some food. It's not like you've got a staff room just there. Some people have. Hey Rob, how are you? Always used to be late to class because of the parking at Pure. Again, <laughs> yeah. There's a barrier. There's a massive barrier for you. And people wonder why I was like, wanted to look for a different gym. A parking. Um, not that Pure, Pure Gym was awesome. Awesome gym, I think so. And the, the people there, I think they were awesome. The parking though, fuck, that really fucked that gym over. Um, yeah. I used to have that quite a lot. I mean, I don't want to dog on anything, but I used to have like quite a few a few clients where they'd come in and say, "Oh, I've, I've had a, I've had like parking tickets and I've got to contest it because I I'd left on the right time and just added stress. in need." Yeah, that was a that was a shame. That was, um, yeah, I would say one of the major reasons I wanted to look for a different gym. That's a nightmare town centre. Absolute nightmare. Mm, uh, f sorry, for those of you from, not from Northampton, probably wondering what I'm about. Um, the gym I used to work at um, for a year was, uh, it's, it's like a private company owned the car park. There's a lower car park, which is like council. And then there's an upper one, which is like a privately owned company. And there were cameras as you went in and out. So um, it would track your number plate and it would fine you if you stayed a minute over or whatever. Things like that. So um, and if you've never been to Northampton Town, the parking isn't great. Um, if you've got parking tickets as well. Yeah, again, so it it's uh, that's a massive barrier for most people. I mean, that sort of thing would affect whether or not someone went to that gym or not. You know, if they joined that gym. Um, I remember uh, I remember two of my clients that I was training, they were uh, like best friends, um, are best friends still. Um, and they were like trying to urge me to go to a different gym that had free parking. And this was, oh gosh, this time last year. And I left there, I put my notes in the beginning of March, right before COVID. Um, yeah, winter last year, they were like, please go to a different gym that has free parking. It's killing us. Um, and, you know, the, the parking isn't even that bad, you know, if you pay like a pound or whatever. But one of them things. Got a ticket there going, Sophia's own not What's Sophia's? Is that the hairdressers? Is that hairdressers? Again, yeah, a lot of people used to have a go at me for the parking. Like, just members and stuff. Not that it was my fault, but... Yeah. People didn't like the fact that they were paying more for the parking than their actual gym membership. Which is a shame, really. Because the gym's cracking. 
gym is cracking, I think. Um, I'll say if you live near town or you, you could walk there, it was ideal, I guess. I even skateboarded there a few times <laughs> and beat the traffic. There were uh, evening sessions. Now, was Italian play? Oh, okay, sorry, yeah. Sophia's, yeah. Um, I don't think I ever went there. I don't think I ever went there, you know. Um, yeah, anyone got any other questions? Had uh, I did have a few. Um, I did have a few. Um, so I've done that one. Bumper plate versus normal, done that one. Um, the same person asked, spring collars versus lock collars. Um, now, if you don't know what those are, spring collars, you know on a barbell, when you've got the, the weight bar, you've added the plates on, uh, they've got a silver spring, spring, I should really have some here to, to show you, but I don't. Um, I do, however, thought was there the thought was there okay so um if you ever use the metal spring ones compared to the, the plastic lock collar ones have you ever seen i'll have to do a video on it that's what i'll do paul how are you kelly how are you do I get a cookie for my PT today? What? A cookie? For what? For PT? Do you know how many sessions I do a week? <laughs> I'd have to give cookies to everyone. Multiple times. <laughs> Outrageous. Outrageous. I do have lots of cookies. Maybe, maybe. Um, any, other, any other questions? What else do we have? What else do we have? Um, I'll save that one for Instagram. That's a good one. Uh, yeah, basically, the spring collars are the metal ones that are harder to grip and slide on rather than the plastic ones that just slide on and then have a Unlocking collar. Hey guys, who wants to hear a bad joke? Okay, hit us with it. That I told my customer. Um, a cookie for a PB. Well, most of them get PBs every session. Not every, all the time, but it's not always the, the goal. But that'd be a lot of uh, protein cookies. Yeah, um, I think those are my, my protein, I think. You mean the gooey ones, the double caramel, like a brownie cookie thing? Yeah, those are good. Uh, yeah, what's this joke, Katie? Let's hear it. This better be good. I'm surprised no one's complained about me drinking on these lives. Uh, hey, Shona. How are you? So I was getting her ready for bed. Her arm got stuck in her PJ, so I told her that she was armless instead of harm. Uh, that's like one of my jokes. No, uh, I want a normal yummy cookie. What? Victoria. How are you? It's funny you should, uh, funny you should say about cookies because I've got loads of them. Not long got some more. 
These, by the way, got these for my birthday. Candy kittens. They're watermelon ones. Um, mm. Pretty decent. I think I've had better watermelon ones, but it's good. All them sweets. Uh, mm, 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 mm. There's loads left in that. I've had them open for ages. Oh. I don't know if you guys heard that. There's some bad man gangsters outside. I'm swearing. Sorry about that if you heard it. Going to fuck someone up, apparently. Um, did you literally get sweets and chalk for your birthday? Um, yeah. Yeah. Um, I got... I mean, not the best of questions to ask. I've got a lot. I've got a lot. And this isn't just an advertising... This isn't just an advertising Q&A live video. You know, this... I've still got these, but... This is how... This is, this is willpower for you. I've still got these. One point seven five kilos. I got those for my birthday. That was the end of October. They're still look untouched. Untouched pretty much. There's a handful, I've had a handful out of it. Um loads of stuff. I still gotta try this as well. Oh my god. Look at this, look. Protein mocha. So, it's not like a protein shake, it's a mocha drink, apparently. Like a coffee. So you just make that. Um, I think it's like the, the homemade brownie or cake mix thing. Protein powder blend and instant coffee mix with chocolate flavouring. Uh, yeah, so, in fact, I'm going to go and try that later. I'm going to leave that out. I'm going to leave that out. Better rethink any Xmas presents. No, no, I mean, you don't have to get me anything, guys. That's <laughs> ridiculous. Um, there's a few things in here. I've got some things, the prizes as well, for my battle group members. Um, Lydia, for your PB today, you've won these. I know you love these. They're your favourite. Look at that, look. I do have a bit of a sweet tooth. Those are, those are yours, Lydia. I'll save those for you. All yours, they are. I do have some gifts to give out, though, like this. Some prizes to be won in my battle group. That's a... Uh, Double rich chocolate protein. Well, I'm gonna do it like a Christmas giveaway, I think. Got some other bits, some little sample bits as well. Vegan ones, plant-based protein. The storage boxes full of these things. Um. Yeah, I tell you what, guys. I'm gonna go over to Instagram. See what those crazy people are saying. Um, but yeah, any questions, guys, let me know. Hit me up. Um, that's what I'm doing this for. Hopefully, you guys can get some sort of value out of these. Um, that would be nice. But yeah, I'll see you guys over on Instagram or later.